All right, for this pro tip, I want to talk about populating values with tools called autofill and flash fill. Now, this is a pretty basic productivity tip, but incredibly powerful once you learn how they work. So quick summary here, you've got your basic autofill options that allow you to copy cells, add sequential series of values, fill values with or without underlying formats, or apply date intervals if you've selected a date specific cell. So all you need to do is drag or double click the lower right corner of a cell to access these autofill options. So here's what one example of that might look like. Let's say you've typed the date 11-2018 into a cell. You drag that down six rows. Because that was a date field, you've got these date specific autofill options that allow you to fill those roles by day, like January 2nd, 3rd, 4th, or in this case by month, January 1st, February 1st, March 1st, etc. Another example, creating an index series. Simply type the number one, drag it down 10 rows, and choose fill series. That will tell Excel not to copy that first value over and over and over, but to apply a sequential series from one to 10. Now, these are both pretty simple, straightforward examples of these autofill options. But if we wanna do something a little bit more custom or complex, you'll see at the bottom of both of those pop-up lists, we've got another option called flash fill. Now flash fill is much more powerful and flexible because what it does is actually identifies patterns based on a given value or set of values that you provide and then uses those patterns to populate an entire column. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I normally avoid these tools like this that just kind of feel to me like cheesy shortcuts, but I've been playing with flash fill a lot more and have been incredibly impressed by the capabilities. So let me show you an example here. Let's say you've got an email address in column G. You want to define a username in column K. And we're defining that username as just the text component of the email prior to the at symbol. So Jennifer J. McGrath 34 turns into Jennifer J. McGrath. Chad S. Lewis 51 turns into Chad S. Lewis. Now, this is something that would be very, very challenging to do with cell formulas even nesting functions like left and search because the number of numerical digits could potentially change from row to row. With flash fill, that's not an issue. Excel is able to identify exactly what you're looking for and apply that pattern down to all of those rows. I'm gonna show you another similar demo in just a moment. So common use cases here, applying values to thousands of rows without dragging or copy pasting, filling formulas without overwriting formatting, extracting text that would otherwise be very difficult or even impossible to isolate with formulas, or quickly creating sequential index columns or calendar tables. So let's roll up our sleeves, jump into Excel, and practice working with some of these autofill and flash fill options. All right, so once you're in your Excel Pro Tips workbook, head to the autofill and flash fill productivity tab and you'll see a list of users. We've got first names, last names, addresses, city, state, zip, email, telephone, and date of birth. Now, this is fake artificial data, so please don't try to dial these numbers. I have no idea who you're gonna actually reach. But basically what we wanna do here is populate some additional columns. We want an index value to uniquely identify each row. We wanna pull a username out of the email field add a user ID column, which is just the numerical component of the username, and then the birth year as just the two digit date based on column I. So let's start with our index. A couple ways we could do this. I'm gonna start by just typing a one here to identify our first row. And then when we select that one and double click the lower right corner, by default, it's copied that value over and over because Excel doesn't really know what else to do with that value. But by clicking into the autofill options, we can simply select fill series. And now we get that sequential list of unique values to create our index. Now, one other tip here, if I control Z to undo that, another option is to actually provide a second value here. Basically what I'm doing is providing Excel with another clue, another bit of context to tell it how to populate this column. And now when I select both the one and the two and double click, now it fills my entire series in one go. Because behind the scenes, Excel is saying, if you're following a one with a two, my best guess is that you're gonna follow the two with a three, the three with a four, 
and so on and so forth. And in fact, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. And it guessed right. So now next up, we've got our username column, column K. And this time we're going to define username as everything up to the at sign. So before at Gmail, at AOL, etc. And remember that when we want to do something like this, that's based on a pattern where we need to use the flash fill option, we need to start by providing Excel with a sample or two. So what I'm going to do is copy this first value in G2, paste it here into the username column, and just strip out the at Gmail. And that's the first example of a username that I want Excel to use to try to figure out the pattern that it can then apply to this entire column. So let's start with one and just double click. And you can see that it's not gotten it right yet. It thinks we maybe want to do a series of values with the same name. We don't. In this case, we want something a little bit more complex, which requires flash fill. So let's select flash fill. And there you go. What it's done is populate all of those usernames exactly correctly, even cases where you have three digits instead of two or one instead of three. And it's gone down and applied that pattern to every single row in our data. So really, really powerful tool. In this case, I could use a combination of left and search functions to return the string up to the at sign, but then I'd be left with thousands of functions that process here in column K with every workbook change. And that's just not very efficient when I can accomplish the same thing using this flash fill tool. So next up, we've got the user ID number, which is just the numerical component of the username. So 99, 51, 71, 17, et cetera. And again, we can start by just providing one sample of what we're looking for. And we can double click, flash fill. And there you go, it's worked perfectly. 96 for Joseph, 868 for Diane, and so on and so forth. So another very quick way to apply that pattern. And then last but not least, we want the birth year, which is the two digit year based on the date of birth in column I. Now, first row for Jennifer McGrath, she was born in 1999, that would be a 99, which you can see we might run into a problem here if we try to apply the flash fill option again, because we get the same pattern that was identified in the user ID column. And this is a great example where we may need to provide one more input or one more fixed value or clue that Excel can use to understand the proper pattern. So in this case, row two, we want the year of birth to be 78. So instead of 51, which is based on the username, we can just manually type the 78 and check this out without even changing or undoing anything. I'm just going to press enter and it's going to revise that whole pattern and apply it correctly to all of my rows. So now we have the proper birth years, the proper user ID numbers, as well as our index and username. So hopefully this gave you a good example of why these tools can actually be really, really powerful when it comes to populating cells based on patterns. So there you go, autofill and flash fill tools.